Alrighty, so I have a pretty rare construction update for you guys today. So we have uh, Taiga at Limanaki in Finland. Hopefully I said all that correct. I know I have a tendency to mispronounce things. So comment down below if I mispronounced uh, those two things. So um, Taiga at uh, Limanaki in Finland is an Intamin Blitz coaster from what I understand. It looks like an Intamin Blitz coaster. It almost looks like an Intamin Blitz and Mega Light kind of like together, which is quite interesting. So it's about 170 feet tall. Um, it's got inversions, a top hat, um, and some awesome tight turns and twists. So um, it looks like Intamin's making quite the comeback. Uh, you have the Harry Potter coaster at Universal Studios. You have the rumored Jurassic Park or Jurassic World coaster that is also rumored to be an Intamin Blitz coaster. And then you have Taiga, which also looks amazing. And I'm sure there's other Intamin Blitzes being built as well, or they're going to be built in 2020, 2021. It looks like it's almost this could be Intamin's comeback. So um, what's going on over at uh, in Finland <laughs> um, is... Uh, a lot honestly so uh i didn't know much about this coaster i'm gonna be honest and i don't always pay attention um outside of north america but this coaster looks fantastic and construction is moving along quickly by the looks of things i mean i don't know when their 2019 season starts but this is well ahead of yukon striker and copperhead strike two projects that have been following closely they're really far ahead um in fact it looks like they just don't have the top hat um, installed uh, and a bit of like the other portions but all the low to the ground portions look to be installed from what I could tell from the pictures that I've been sent and uh, yeah it looks fantastic you have track on site supports on site to finish it off it looks like everything's on site from what I can tell again I uh, live in North America and I have no idea how far along construction is or have a general concept of the entire project but I can tell you it's definitely farther along than Yukon Striker and Copperhead Strike which are also two projects that seem to be ahead of schedule. So this coaster looks to be ahead of schedule. It looks very impressive. Um, I'll definitely be watching this now because honestly, I love Maverick at Cedar Point. So I love Intamin Blitzes. And I'm very happy that they're coming, having a comeback. So definitely fantastic. Um, I don't have too much to say on a construction update because again, I live in North America um, and I'm not there. I don't have any inside information from the park. But um, just wanted to share some pictures of the construction with you guys. Um, again, you can see the footings, the supports, and track are installed. They have track on site, and they seem to be uh, moving along nicely. You can see the brake run or launch just up there. They have the turns. It just, from what I can tell, that I don't see the top hat installed yet, and uh, a few other lower to the ground moments. It's a fairly long coaster for something that looks to be not that long. Um, from a bird's eye view. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this construction update slash just talking about what Taiga is. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.